Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And to, in today's video, I want to go ahead and do some speculation. I'm going to put this as a rumor, but my own rumor. Um, but I'm going to do a speculation on when Super Nintendo World might open. So, yeah, this is just kind of based on the annual pass blockouts for this year and next year. I'm using the gold pass. Again, this is my own opinion. Um... No one else is, although some people online have been kind of speculating, curious of some curious blackout dates. I'll be going over that as well. Even some people have commented on my videos, curious blackout dates. So I want to go check it out. So this is the gold annual pass. If you're by gold annual pass for like right now, here are your blackout calendars. As you see, January is wide open right for this year, wide open. Very important to know. Wide open. Okay. February, March, wide open. Now, the gold annual pass does have block of dates, like kind of random Saturdays and stuff. Um, and this, again, will be a big factor in what I'm going to discuss here. But it has random blackout, random blockout dates. Um, not very many, but it needs something to differentiate from the platinum pass, which has no blackout dates. So... It has some Saturdays here and there. And so, January wide open. February, one day in President's Day weekend. You can't go to Saturday. Surprised if Disney passed this whole weekend we blocked that. But, yeah, that, that one. March is open. April, at random. Just random Saturday. Or maybe like spring break. Because I'm uh, spring break is LAOSD. At least spring break is here. So, maybe that's why. This Saturday, the silver is, is probably where you can't go any of this these days. But yeah, I'll just keep going. May are good. June, just random block of data. Right? It's probably near Father's Day. I don't know. July, 4th of July, you can't go. Some random Saturdays. August, September for Horror Nights. You can go all these days, except for these random days in October. The, the Black Friday, you can't go. And here's December. So, I've seen some comments online, and a couple of people, a couple of people comment on my videos on Super Nintendo World updates about this particular day. Again, oh, hold on. Uh, yes, I want extra time. Um, but sorry, there we go. Okay. So this particular day. It's interesting because, again, like I've noted before, there have been random Saturdays, just literally random one-day Saturdays blocked out. That could very well be the case for this Saturday. But, as I've told you before, it's expected this Super Nintendo from trusted insiders on the Inside Universal forums that Super Nintendo World, the land, will be done by September. Right over here. Maybe some soft openings, pass over previews, whatever, and after Horror Nights is over, so Horror Nights is, would be over. Sometimes it extends in the first week in November, so let's say in November 6th, right? So, pass over previews and all that stuff, maybe starting like one of the, maybe mid-September, right? So, like over here, a couple weeks, like a month of pass over previews, and then maybe a soft opening around this day, that 17th, right? Just in time for the holidays. With the grand opening in January. Keep in mind, the Mario movie, the Super Mario movie comes out in December as well. Probably maybe on December 16th or somewhere around there. So it'll be closed regarding maybe premiere. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's something going on at Universal that day to celebrate the, the Mario movie. But what's going on in this theory? soft opening maybe this is a soft opening date or soft opening weekend for super nintendo world that 16 17 18 time frame why let's go back to january 2022 no blockout dates for this pass in january 2022 the gold pass this month no blockout dates you go down though to january 2023 all of a sudden, some weekends are blocked out. In fact, 
January 2023 has more blackout dates in a single month than almost besides September, or besides obviously the Christmas, this very busy time. Um, there's no other days in a single month. Uh, like each month, there's like one to four, right? Four blackout dates. July with this holiday um, here has four blackout dates. It's the most blackout dates you get in a whole month. Um, here, of course, it's different. If you, excluding this, you get just a whole week to seven. So that's, of course, the holiday week. So it's very busy. But the rest is just none or one to two random days. But this one and, and the off season, right? The off season. January, like right now, Revenge of the Mummies under refurbishment. This is refurbishment season. The off season, everyone's back from the holidays. Everyone's back at school. But this one, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blackout dates. And that actually ties, well, this is this is the eighth blackout day. But that's the second highest amount of blackout days after December. In January, especially when this January, 2022, nothing. No blackout dates. So... That that pretty much, in my opinion, guarantees that Super Nintendo World will for sure be open in January 2023. But it's a grand opening, soft opening, it's going to be open. Um, sure, you can maybe count January 1st, New Year's Day as a continuation of this holiday period, that busy period. But even then, there's six random days. There's no holidays. or even. If, but even, I don't know, I, you can't even count that, right? Because in January 2022... New Year's Day this year, it wasn't blocked out. So, no, I'm not going to count that as the ho busy holiday time. Because this year you can go. Earlier, like 24 days ago, you, you can go on New Year's Day if you wanted to. But now in 2023, it's blocked out. So, I'm going to put a rumor out there. Rumor, speculation, my opinion, nothing guaranteed. So if this video gets shared to sites and something, I don't want to be like, ah, he's saying he's making up false information. No, I don't know anything. I'm just an educated guess based on people, people's comments and uh, uh, inside universal, the inside universal forms. Somewhere around December 17th, I want to say maybe a soft opening or, yeah, soft opening. Maybe some tests. Mm, well, hmm. Or maybe that's in the past what the previews will start. And a soft opening really happened like November. That like kind of soft opening as in they'll open the land for maybe like a few hours. Just to let people in. Maybe not even maybe not even everything will be open. Maybe just Mario Kart will be open. They should let people ride it as a kind of a test and adjust period, right? Because they have to test the ride. Part of the testing process is that they test it with people, and that's part of the soft opening because that's part of the testing process, testing it with people. They try it with water jugs and all these different types of things. So you can never really get a full a full test until you put actual people because there's people of all shapes and sizes. They, they're different dimensions. Uh, water jugs, they all, you know, when they put test the ride with water jugs, they all, uh, they're all weighing the same or they all have the same body types everyone's very different so you need a real world test and that real world test without actually opening it to the public is to let kind of spurts of people in so maybe some soft openings and kind of tests and adjust periods in november uh pass holder preview time and december 16th that time from through the holidays with a grand opening in january sometime with these block out dates maybe some around especially this one the whole weekend Friday, or sorry, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So maybe the grand opening day will be January 13th or 14th. And they blocked out the whole weekend. Oh, yeah. There's, well, not Friday, but Saturday through Monday. Um, unless Martin Luther King falls on that day uh, next year. I don't know. My speculation, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Very exciting that we can even be talking about this because it feels like, you know, the weekly updates have been covering this forever. And, of course, some things it seems like um, some weeks it doesn't change much, very much, but it's very exciting that we can be talking about opening dates and getting clues about opening dates from the blockout calendars that Universal's putting out uh, for the Gold Pass. So very, very curious. So what do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you like this video, press that thumbs up. 
And as always, have a fantastic day.